Well, I guess we're actually technically the afternoon. <laughs> the truth is, we shouldn't be here in the first place. We shouldn't have gotten here in the first place. It's time to end governing by crisis and keep your word when you give it in the Congress. You know, where I come from, when you make a deal, you give your word, you keep it. You give your word, you say, I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do, and you do it. You keep it. You keep your word. And I expect the Republican Speaker and Republicans in Congress to honor their word and keep the deal they made months ago when they tried to threaten us to, with to almost international bankruptcy by not paying our debts. Quite frankly, I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of the brinksmanship. And so are the American people. I've been doing this, you all point out to me a lot, a long time. I've never quite seen a Republican Congress or any Congress act like this. This spring, mega Republicans brought us to the brink, threatening to fall on America's debt for the first time in over 200 years. And it would have caused a gigantic world crisis. The brinkmanship has to end, and there should be another, there shouldn't be another crisis. There's no excuse for another crisis. Consequently, I strongly urge my Republican friends in Congress not to wait. Don't waste time as you did all summer. Pass a year-long budget agreement. Honor the deal we made a few months ago. We have the strongest Mr. President, Speaker McCarthy's speakership is now at risk. Should Democrats vote to help him keep that job? I don't have a vote on that matter. I'll leave that to the leadership of the House and the Senate. Mr. President, what are your words to U.S. allies, and in particular Zelensky, on continued funding for Ukraine? How can you reassure them? I can reassure them, look at me. We're going to get it done. I can't believe those who have voted for supporting Ukraine, overwhelming majority in the House and Senate, Democrat and Republican, will, for pure political reasons, let more people die needlessly in Ukraine. Are you going to be able to trust Speaker McCarthy when the next deal comes around? We just made one about Ukraine, so we'll find out. But are you worried that he is going to be forced by fellow Republicans to back away from any deal he cuts with you? I hope this experience for the speaker has been one of a personal revelation. Now, I'm not being facetious. I, uh, um, anyway. Are you concerned about America's reputation on the world stage, given the level of brinksmanship we've seen this year? Uh, based on the mega Republican report, yes. Based on what my administration is doing, no. Thank you. Thank you.